This is the Sea of Gaza. The Israeli violations of reducing the fishing areas and preventing the entry of fishing equipment and gear have had negative effects on the Gaza Strip. The number of Palestinian fishermen decreased by 73% in the last 20 years, and the policy of forced closure and the prevention of entry of fishing gear into Gaza Strip also led to a serious decrease in the number of fishing boats. As a result of the Israeli violations, the economic return declined due to the shortage of fish caught in light of the limited fishing areas. This prompted fishermen to use types of small nets to increase the quantities of fish caught in the available areas, and this has negative repercussions on the marine environment. You are now in the border area of the Gaza Strip. At a time when the world's governments fought the COVID-19 pandemic, which negatively affects health and the economy around the world, the violations of the Israeli occupation increased the repercussions of the pandemic and its effect on the Palestinians besieged in the Gaza Strip. In addition to imposing a suffocating blockade on the Gaza Strip for more than 14 years, since 2014, the Israeli occupation aircrafts have been periodically spraying dangerous chemicals composed of toxic substances such as glyphosate, oxygol, and durex on the agricultural lands of Palestinian citizens in the border areas of the Gaza Strip. During the past two years, the Israeli occupation aircrafts sprayed agricultural land at least 17 times. The realistic data available so far indicate that there are serious effects of these chemicals on agricultural crops, the environment, and the health of citizens. In addition to the fact that these chemicals are among the main causes of cancer diseases among farmers, dozens of Palestinian farmers in the border areas of the Gaza Strip have stated that many of their crops have died due to these chemicals.